What's going on guys, it's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Up. Today I'll be showing you guys some of the great new features and fixes in the newly released iOS 7.1. Now before I get started, I do want to mention that if you are jailbroken on iOS 7.0.6 or 7.0.4 or a previous firmware, you do not want to update if you want to keep your jailbreak. This new firmware will break your jailbreak and there is no new jailbreak for iOS 7.1 just yet, but you know I will upload a video right when it comes out. Okay, so let's get started. The very first thing I noticed after installing iOS 7.1 is the improved performance. I'm just gonna bring my iPhone 5S over here. This is actually my iPhone 5 that I installed iOS 7.1 on, and I'm going to show you the difference and the fat and the animations, the, sp the animation speeds in iOS 7.1 are greatly improved. So let's see, we're just going to open up, uh, let's just say the phone application. So we're going to click at the same time. And as you can see, it opens up a lot quicker on iOS 7.1. This is an iPhone 5, this is the iPhone 5S. So let's go ahead and open music. As you can see, same thing. We can do it with mail. Same thing, it opens up quicker. Now there is a uh, spring to mize for iOS 7.0.6 and previous versions of iOS 7. If you are jailbroken where you can improve the performance speed or, and the uh, animation speed, but it is nice to have it implemented directly in iOS 7.1. There are also reduced crashing rates and I have not actually crashed one time while using the iOS 7.1 software. On my iPhone 5S, I do notice that the uh, springboard crashes quite a bit and I'm not sure if that's related to the jailbreak or not but apparently this fixes a lot of crashing issues. Also for the 5S, Touch ID is greatly improved and it is a lot more accurate. Now I have not installed iOS 7.1 on my iPhone 5S because that is my daily uh, phone that I use and I do want it to be jailbroken so I did not update the 5S, but from what I have seen it is a lot more accurate. Another new feature strictly for the iPhone 5S is Auto HDR. In the native camera application on the 5S, you will have the Auto HDR so you do not have to switch it on and off constantly. Another great thing about iOS 7.1 is that now you can hold the home button when you're talking to Siri so that it knows when you end uh, your command. So let's just go ahead and hold down and open up Siri. And as you see, I'm talking and it doesn't stop even when I stop talking. As you see, it didn't stop until I let go of the home button, and then it will pick up. Uh, as you can see, okay, it, I found this on the web. Okay, it just searched for whatever I was saying right then. But as you can see, it is a lot more efficient now, and it is a lot more easier to use. And Siri will not interrupt you in the middle of when you're talking, and it won't, you know, let you finish what you were trying to say. There's also a new option in settings. If we go to accessibility, general and accessibility, as you can see, we have all these, and if we go down, there's a new Thing right here called button shapes and that allows if you look up in the top left hand corner when I switch this on as you can see it kind of just makes it the button stand out more and it's kind of a rectangular pointy shape I personally don't like it uh, but you know some people may like it. there are also on off labels right here so if I click that as you can see the labels turned to like an on and off label again I don't really care for that but some people may the calendar app also got improved as you can see when we go to our month of March right here you have this new button right here uh, where you can see the events in the month. Obviously, I don't have any uh, main events set, but here are the ones that come preset in the calendar app. So as you can see, you can just go through, and it's just really easy to use. Uh, if you use the um, calendar app a lot, you will definitely like this new improvement. Another feature which I can't actually show right now is CarPlay. This actually allows you to access pretty much everything on your iOS device in your vehicle. There is a video of John Rattinger over at Techno Buffalo showing it in a Ferrari out at a, an event. Uh, I'm not sure which event it was, but it is a very cool video and I definitely suggest you go check it out. Um, I'll have a link right here, an annotation. It is really cool. And of course there are small little improvements like improved security. Um, the mail actually, I don't have my mail set up, but I do have over 10,000 emails. It will actually display it correctly now and not have all those dots. Um, so that's something small and nice. Okay guys, those are pretty much all of the iOS 7.1 features. You can check the full change log down in the description below. And again, if you didn't catch it at the beginning, do not update. If you are jailbroken, you will lose your jailbreak. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.